Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be an Aries Sun, Moon and as well rising weekly tarot reading September 23rd to a September 29th, uh, 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to uh, shuffle the tarot cards and we can jump uh, right into it. That's good enough, I, I guess. And uh, the first card, which stands for the topic of your Aries week, that is going to be the Ace of Pentacles, followed by the second card, which represents the challenges that you need to stand against here and overcome eventually. That is going to be the Eight of Pentacles. Third card that we do have, it is the Five of Pentacles, and that is the positive aspect of the week. And then the last one that appears as the guidance is going to be, uh, the guidance that Tarot is offering to you, Aries, for the week, that is going to be the Five of Cups. All right, so uh, before we scrutinize the reading, let's uh, run the cards one more time. So we do have the Five of Pentacles, which is the uh, general topic and the theme of your week, followed by the next one, which stands for the challenges, which you need to overcome. This is going to be the Eight of Pentacles, Third one it's, is going to be the Five of Pentacles and that is the positive aspect of the week. And then the last one, it is the Five of Cups, which stands for the guidance. All right, so the topic, uh, which is uh, the, uh, the Ace of Pentacles, it, it's catalyzed or accompanied by the, tree of, uh, by the Tree of Wands. So we do have a, a passive neutrals here. And what this combo is all about, it is a... Um, fixing up a crack into your current endeavors all right i think that it's um how do i say it? i think that you are feeling a bit insecure and that the foundation or the pattern that you are sitting on it's not exactly stable and therefore it looks like that throughout the week you will have that circumstances or these opportunities which will allow you to uh fill up the gap you know or kind of like uh uncover what is missing here or, or sustain yourself, stabilize that position, either career-wise or either relationship-wise as well. Because it looks like that while you are sitting uh, for the most part, you know, on a, a solid foundations and solid patterns, there is al always what you can do better. And it does look like the two areas this week, it is what you're gonna stray for, right? Doing things the better way. Or rather like doing things the right way, I would say. Nonetheless, uh, <clears throat> this uh, uh, this specific undertaking will uh, put under a, a test your uh, relationships in a sense of that how harmoniously you can sustain your relationships and as well how successful your career and your business is. All right, it depends how big crack and how big gap you have to fill up. Uh, throughout the week, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. But definitely, uh, this is a, uh, a time for repair, all right? It is, you, you, can, you can take it that way, that this week you are going to repair a lot of things into your life, uh, a lot of situations as well that are taking 
for the wrong turn and you are to have the chance to traverse that turn and to make it in toward a positive direction because those circumstances will give you the rare opportunity to further your goal right but once again before you can further your goal you need to first build up the foundations that you are to step on before the goal can actually be uh, start accomplish uh, accomplishing so the next one it's about the challenges and that is going to be the eight of pentacles and the accompanied card here is going to be the lovers so the challenge is going to be that you aren't going to have a much of a, a choice what you have to do all right or how you have to do it pretty much there is going to be only one way how you can attend to the situation so you can stabilize it all right and while you may not like it it is the only way how you can do things. It is the only way how you can attend to those minor details, you know. And it, 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 the other thing here as well is that you need to show conscientiousness, uh, conscientiousness toward uh, those endeavors as well and toward your partner, for example, toward the undertakings into your relationship or toward the undertakings and tasks into your career as well. The thing here, guys, is that you need to show that you do give a crap, okay, that you do care about how the things are to develop and not just only that, but also a um, about that you do give a crap that the situation is as it is right now and, and, and that you are, I don't want to say willing to do uh, whatever it takes or uh, do what it takes, I would say. But you need to show that you are humble when you do understand, you know, what it is required from you to um, to do so you can uh, you can reach a, a stable grounds. But nonetheless, these two cards as a challenge pretty much deprives you from options available. What I mean is that there is only one way how you can do things. OK, and it is the only way how you can improve those situations in uh, uh, how you can improve the circumstances into the situation that you are experiencing insecurity and there are cracks in it so the next card is going to show us a the positive aspect of your uh, of your week and that is going to be the five of pentacles and it is accompanied by the judgment so we do have passive neutrals once again <clears throat> And it does look like that this is going to be a um, a call for it's it looks like a help, but a help that is not going to come around with some conditions. So we are talking about a um, how do I say it? Mutual coexistence, maybe where uh, you and another person are helping each other without uh, disturbing each other's daily routine. And in the same time, you are. Uh, extracting benefits from that cooperation. It's very difficult to describe it, but it's more like a... Uh, well, my point here it is that you don't have to go out of your way to help someone or this someone will not gonna have to go out of their way to help you as well. That being said, as a positive aspect here, uh, it looks like that you don't have to face uh, to to face those um, those undertakings alone or those circumstances this only way how you can fix your relationship or how you can improve your career on your own but instead you know you pretty much will have that i would say either lucrative or very skillful person or very um how do you say it not decisive but convincing person around you which is going to help you to either make up your point to overcome certain challenges into your career and etc etc but you also need, should not kind of like count on this union in a sense of that that is not going to be forever right now you just have a mutual benefits for one another all right there is some sort of a uh, uh yeah it's benefits it's i don't know how to say it in english really it's it's like a um yeah, benefits should be the word. I cannot find a better word for it. I'm sorry, guys. But you, you do have a mutual benefits. And uh, this is the motion. This is the fuel. This is the drive that allows you to cooperate in such a good symbiosis. And so the last card will show us uh, the... Um, 
guidance that Tsaro is offering to you and that is going to be the Five of Cups and a Five of Cups is accompanied with the Nine of Pentacles. So typical passive uh, support, uh, passive friends combination here which is urging one to not give up. Even if what is in front of you looks tough, even if it looks difficult, hard, you name it and it may look a little bit annoying as well. Um, you need to understand that what is in front of you, this opportunity to fill up the cracks, to to close the gaps, you know, or to close the distance or to improve the circumstances uh, will allow you to uh, proceed with future um, leap into career development, right, or a, a future good and, a, and harmonious relationship as well. The whole point here is that whatever losses or disappointments you are experiencing right now, they are just temporary. They are not something permanent. You can, and you can definitely uh, fix it. You can def definitely, like I said, feel those, fill up those empty spots, those things that you do lack. It's all about, however, of a point of view. And uh, once again it is about determination like we said there will be only one way how you can do the things right or right in a sense of you know to stabilize that situation which uh, it is sinking and uh, are you ready to do whatever it takes well that depends entirely on you but nonetheless this was um your weekly tarot reading Aries. Um, I do wish you the best of luck with that endeavor and uh, I hope that you liked it and uh, as well that we're going to uh, see each other around. Until then, bye!